What is the greatest lesson you ever learned and who taught it to you and how did it impact your life? Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. I've got Dave back again. That's twice in a row. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? In today's YouTube shorty video, we just wanted to share the greatest lesson we ever learned and who we learned it from and how it affected our lives. So, do you want me to start? Sure. Okay. Well, the greatest lesson I ever learned came from my mom. Oh, gosh. And she taught me many lessons. But I can't really frame it into one thing. It's kind of a ball of things with the same meaning. I was going to say. Yeah. Right. So what I learned from her was about living life. She never wasted a moment. Mm -hmm. She valued each and every day. She was never bored. Never, ever, never. In her life. Because she always found something to do. She took advantage of each day, each hour, each moment. And she really lived her life. Yeah. And by watching that and seeing that, it led me down the same path. I have never been bored in my life either. No. I've never said those words. Never. I'm bored. You said there's only boring people. Yeah. <laughs> there may be boring people. Yeah. But I'm not bored. Because I take advantage of every day and every moment. I'm exhausted <laughs> just watching you every moment, every well, day. Well, there's always something to do. Yeah. Always. And it could be for yourself, for someone else. It could be a household thing. It could be anything. She appreciated everything as a gift. If somebody called and said, oh, I'm in the area, I want to come by uh, for a cup of coffee, she got excited about that. That was a gift to her. She didn't think like, oh, no, my hair isn't combed, or, oh, I have to hurry up and run the sweeper, or do the dishes, <laughs> no. because all that was done, because she never wasted time, and that was huge to me, and I'm so grateful that she taught me that. And so I would have to say that's the greatest lesson because it has guided me in my life yeah. and how to live it. I'm thrilled with everything I do. If I just go out and sweep the patio... <laughs> how how many times a day? <laughs> many times a day. But... I don't waste time. And yeah. that makes a big difference in your life. You just appreciate it. And you look forward to each and every day. No matter what life throws at you. And my ma had a lot thrown at her. Mm. But it never got her down. No. She kept moving. She always just picked herself up and said... Well, nothing I can do about it. And that was her attitude. So her whole attitude about life and life circumstances was fantastic. And that was the greatest lesson I've ever learned. And I'm very grateful for that. Wow. How about you, Dave? I don't know if I could top that one. My, you don't have to. Oh, I know, but I'm saying, my goodness. I mean, gosh, it, what you were just sharing brings back a flood, a flood of memories yeah. of 
sayings and things, and everybody remembers them. I mean, all the grandchildren and the children, they all know them. They all remember them. They all yeah. quote them. But I think for me, the greatest life lesson that I ever learned was from my dad. My dad was just an amazing person, and he loved people. But more than just, as well, I say people, he was he was everything. I mean, he just, people love being around him. People love spending time with him. But a lot with younger people, mm-hmm. he always was there to help and guide and support young people. And he was involved in the Scouts. I don't know if anybody remembers or knows, uh, many years ago, there was the... Um, you know, the Eagle Scouts and all that. Then there was something called the uh, Order of the Arrow. And my dad was in that, which is a very prestigious award to get in the Boy Scouts. But he just, young men just went to him. You know, when they needed advice about life and when they were in broken families or they were hurting or, I'm going to start crying. (laughs) <laughs> oh honey I know when we start thinking about these things it can huh. it can really tear us up I know because you lost your dad when you were 17 yeah he I was know. too young yeah I know but even when he was sick and he was sick all the time he had um, he had a lot of heart problems, yeah. and even at the hospital, <coughs> when uh, people would come to visit, there were so many young people who would be in the room. And after he died, the stories that people would share and tell about the things that he had done that I didn't know. And he was. He was just an incredible, incredible human being. And what has that taught you? Oh, boy. I have a feeling the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. And I know that. I love people. I love people. And I love helping people. And I love guiding people. And... Especially the kids and grandkids and, you know, they they come for advice or they come for, you know, help with something. And I don't care what it is, you know, I'm there. I'm there. You are. And, and with their friends. Yeah. Their friends would come to you. Yeah. And want to engage in conversation and get advice from you and and just hang out and be around you. Yeah. You, you just drew them like a magnet yeah. and it sounds like your dad was the exact same way. He was. He definitely was. I yeah. mean, 100%. He was the kindest, most gentle person. Well, I think it's just an an incredible attribute as an adult that you have the personality, the openness, the heart that's like a magnet that draws people to you, especially young people, because most young people, you know, they don't want anything to do with their parents or people their parents' age. You know, they think, oh, what do you know? Or I can't talk to him or her. And when you can give that kind of spirit off to young people that they know they can come to you, that's an amazing quality to have. And I I didn't know your dad, but I know you. And you, you got it. Well, you got the same thing he had, and I'm very grateful for that. Well, thank you. But, you know, even with, you know, there's people in our community as well that, you know, I'll go to their homes to talk with them if they're having issues or problems or they're alone and lonely. 
and I can I can, I can sit there. <laughs> My one grandson Tristan always torments me and and says, "Yeah, he says Pappy's just a an old bullshitter." Because <laughs> because I'll go somewhere and I will. I I can spend hours just listening to someone. Not necessarily giving advice at all, right. just listening because they want somebody to listen. They want somebody who cares. Well, that's the the key to the whole thing is you take an interest. 100%. You take an interest and you have compassion for how someone feels or what they're going through. And that's just a a remarkable trait to have. So your dad did teach you the greatest lesson. He really did. To help others, and especially our younger people of today. Yeah, yeah. And I, I feel sorry for so many younger people today who feel like they don't have that, you know? Yeah. For whatever reason, they don't have that, and yeah. it's a shame because it's so vital and important. And, yeah. you know, like I said, I'm just, it still affects me to this day that, yeah. you know, he left so, so when I was so young. Yes. I know. Yeah, a big hole. Well, I thank you for sharing that. Boy. (laughs) And I know that your dad would thank you for carrying that on for him. (laughs) In his name, in his honor. That would mean so very much to him. I believe that. So. I truly do. So what I would like to know is... What is the greatest lesson you ever learned and who you learned it from? If you will leave that in the comment section, we can all learn and grow from that. Absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're so right. Well, you know what time it is now. What? It's time <laughs> to leave an inside beauty tip. <laughs> My inside beauty tip today comes from Dave and, and you. myself. That's yes. right. And we're just going to kind of summarize the meaning of these life lessons we learn and how we can impact other people's lives. So, how Amen. do you feel about that? What would you like to say? Well, you know, we go back and review our lives like a movie. Yeah. We don't realize the impact at times that so many people over all these years, 65 for me coming up, yep. that have touched us so deeply, that have shaped us, that have made us who we are today. And I think at times we forget those people. And it's so wonderful to go back and look and, and rediscover that yeah. for ourselves. And to see, my gosh, there's so many people in my life who have just you know, totally helped me and transformed me. And, you know, one of the biggest ones in my life is you. Me? Yes, ma'am, you. You have given me so much. (laughs) Gee, thank you. Wisdom and insight and understanding and patience. And you're not a patient person. No. But boy, you have been patient with me. I taught you how to be patient because you have to be patient with me because I'm so impatient. (laughs) (laughs) This is true. And, yeah, you know, it's it's really something to think about that. Yeah. And I guess to kind of piggyback off of that, what I would add is when we say life lessons, we learn many throughout life from many different people at different stages in yeah. life. We can learn a life lesson from a total stranger. 100%. Total stranger. And it's, it's just amazing how someone you don't know, you've never seen before, yeah. you will never see again. Yeah. But in that moment of time, they taught you a lesson. Those and are angels. Those are angels. Those are angels. So I say, let's all go out and be an angel 
in somebody's life today. Oh, that's beautiful. In some way, somehow, wow. whether it be someone you know or a stranger. Angels are all around us, and we need to be an angel too. So I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl. <laughs> and the old guy. Signing out. See ya. See ya, everyone.